do. Okay, distribution. Okay, so for example, this distribution here. So all we're presented with now is the outcomes one, two, three, four, five, and six, along with their probabilities, P of X, 0 0.07, 0 0.13, 0 0.20, 0 0.26, 0 0.20, and 0 0.13, okay? So all we're presented with is the discrete outcomes along with their probabilities. And what we want to be able to calculate is we want to be able to calculate, calculate, Let's say the expected value, the expected value, okay, symbolized by E of X, okay? The expected value is also, is also known as, as the mean, okay? So we'd like to be able to calculate the expected value of this distribution. Um, and E of X is simply equal to, is equivalent to mu, the population, the population mean in this particular case, okay? Now, this video is all about trying to understand where the formulas come from with respect to discrete probability distributions. But let's just go back to the mean of a frequency distribution, a discrete frequency distribution. We know that mu is simply equal to the sum of the frequencies times the x's divided by the sum of the frequencies, okay? Now what we can actually do with this particular formula here is we can actually expand this formula now. Don't forget, this summation is done across each one of the observations. It's 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 only across the product of the frequencies times the x's, yeah? So we could actually expand this out to be uh, the first frequency times the first x plus the second frequency times the second x all the way through to the nth frequency, the nth discrete frequency times the nth x, all divided by the sum of the frequencies, okay? And this is, this is like the common denominator across this summation. So we can actually break this up into summation. So this becomes F1 of X1 over the sum of the frequencies plus F2 over X, of X2 times the sum of the frequencies all the way through to Fn, Xn over the sum of the frequencies. Okay? And what we can also do is because this is, this is a, a, a factor here, this is a, a, let's say a product, yeah? Okay, it's a product. Uh, this is the same as uh, F1 of the sum of the Fs times the X1. Plus, this is the same as F2 over the sum of the Fs times X2, plus all the way through to Fn over the sum of the Fs times Xn. Now, if we look at these individual items here, these, let's say, F1 over the sum of the Fs, what are they? Well, we actually see here is that, uh, well, the F1 is how many times the first observation, the first discrete, let's say, outcome occurred over the total number of possible times that occurred, which is exactly what a probability is. You can see that a probability is the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of possible outcomes. So this fraction here for the first outcome, the number of times that occurs is 10 relative to the total amount, the sigma f is 150. So this is actually the probability of the first outcome. So effectively now what we have is that this particular formula here now, it reduces down to be the mu is equal to, this is the probability of x1, okay, occurring, this piece, times x1 plus the probability of x2 occurring times x2 plus all the way through to the probability of xn occurring times xn, which from a summation perspective is the same as mu is equal to, this is a summation across all of the individual x's, all of the outcomes, and for each one we're calculating the probability of x and we're multiplying it by the x, which is exactly the formula that we have for the expected value of a probability distribution. Okay? So now what we have is this, if we want to calculate the probability, the expected value, the mean, the mean of the probability distribution, all we have to do is exactly what we would have done in the situation where we did, where we had a discrete frequency distribution, is we multiply the probability times the x's. Now, don't forget this is commutative, so this could be also written as the sum of the x's times the probabilities. Yeah, so it's the x times the probability. So we calculate the prob x times probability of x, and one times zero point seven is zero point seven. 0 0.07, 2 times 0 0.13 is 0 0.26. And we do them products all the way down. 
And then what we do is we sum up this column to give us the actual probability. Okay? Now, this video wasn't all about doing the calculation. This video was trying to, trying to figure out where does the formula come from. So let's just maybe just write down our first formula now. Our first formula that we have is to calculate the expected value of a discrete probability distribution. So the mean or the expected value, expected value okay, uh, of a discrete probability distribution, uh, mu, which is equal to E of X, is simply equal to the sum of each observation multiplied by its respective probability. Okay, so there's our first formula, uh, which is straightforward enough. We can see where, where it comes from. Okay, it's just a direct, uh, let's say, consequence uh, of the mean formula uh, that we have associated uh, with our discrete frequency distribution. Okay, now what about the variance? Yeah, well, look at the variance formula now. So let's concentrate on the variance. Okay, so the variance formula, okay, from a discrete perspective, a discrete frequency perspective, the variance uh, sigma squared. Okay, is simply equal to the sum of the frequencies times the x minus the mu squared all over the sum of the frequencies. Okay? So once again, if we expand this particular term out, 